On Saturday, October 3rd, law enforcement personnel, river conservation groups, and volunteers partnered to make Operation Medicine Cabinet one of the most successful drug take-back events ever held in North Carolina. Drugs were collected at four locations around Watauga County, including the food lions in Boone, Blowing Rock, Deep Gap, as well as the Seven Devils Town Hall. Hey Barbara, um, can you tell us a little bit about why you wanted to participate in this drug take back event today? Well, I have been reading a lot about being green and taking care of the environment and living here in the mountains. I mean, that is something that should be a guideline to all of us. And I had called uh, Lisa and asked uh, about what do I do with these drugs now that are outdated and you know, over-the-counter things, and she said, well, there was going to be a program in the fall, and um, could I save things to then? And I said, sure. Well, when I got in my medicine cabinet and started looking at all the things I had, um, I realized it was a sizable amount, and so this just gave me an opportunity to get rid of it in a really uh, green fashion. Uh, it's the first time we've been doing this, and I feel it was a great success, and I think this is probably going to be an annual event now after we see the, uh, the outcome of what was produced today and it's better that it ends up here than out in the uh, the rivers or in our, our kids hands or something like that. I'm glad that we're doing this. I think it's very successful. The hugely successful event captured approximately 40,000 pills, 12 gallons of liquid medication, 2,000 sharps, needles, syringes, and lancets. A great variety of drugs were collected including painkillers, blood thinners, anti-allergens, iodine, insulin, antibiotics, steroids, hormones, antidepressants, and many, many more. All the drugs collected are being taken to an EPA-approved incinerator to be safely destroyed.